So now, the the very next uh, level that I want to discuss with you guys. The very next level. Let's let's reset this now. So now we're looking at a, a small group, a small group. So now when I say a small group, I'm looking at, we're talking about a three to five players, three to five players in 4.0. What do you think you'll need? Three, a group of three to five players will need to survive in a 4.0 release. What do you think? Uh, Ooh, in that case, I'm going to say definitely if you're running with five people, definitely maybe three fighters okay. and something if you want to do missions and if you want to do piracy, if you want to, you know, attack people and take their cargo. So that's when you would need that fourth person to be in something like a cutty, depending on what you want to spend now, depending mm. on the cutty black freelance okay. or something that you can haul the cargo but you have your three fighters that will swarm, like say in your gladiuses or your arrows. Okay. Um, and that fifth, I mean, the, ah, if you start talking about refueling, then you're gonna spend some money. Mm -hmm. But I'm just looking at five people to make it fun every day you get on. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wanna do like bounties, you're gonna wanna do your bunkers and stuff like that. If you're not mm -hmm. into mining and things like that, um, you could do your cargo trading and you got your fighters to protect you. Right. So I'm just looking at it like from that aspect. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so right now you selected five, four, four ships right now. All right, so so you're saying you're gonna need three fighters as uh, for a group of five guys. You're gonna need three fighters, a general purpose ship like the Cutlass Black, and you got Man. somebody to co-pilot in there as a turret. So then you, right. have, you have your protection. And so mm. if you're going to different outposts in Pyro or whatever, and you wanted to, I don't know, get cargo and loot or whatever, you have the ship to put the loot on, okay. the cargo on. And you also have the, because mm. you know it's going to be a, it's going to be a lawless community. So right. you have your fighters to protect right. you. And then you got an extra person on the ship that if you do come across PVP and they're actually trying to pirate and get into your ship, you got yeah. somebody else out there to try to fend them off while you're trying to fly and evade them, so. Right, 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 right. All right, um, yo, Inbe, what's going on, man? I don't know if your mic is working, but um, yeah, Inbox, so you're absolutely right. So, so now you're, you're taking this from a perspective of a group that wants to do combat. Right, this is a combat based group. Pretty much. Right? Okay. 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 Yeah, that's solid. That's solid. So this is this is more so the gameplay loop will be a couple bounties. You know, and then with, with the cargo with the cargo uh physicalized cargo, you have a cutlass black to grab whatever stuff you find you you you, you obtain from your bounties. Put it on the cutlass. You know. So now in terms of in terms of like refueling repairing this this group is go is definitely going to need to be around space stations so being in a place like yeah. pyro isn't really going to be viable this is going to be a, a standing group really well in that case <laughs> unless you i'm still thinking budget wise if right. there's no expense if you just if you're going to spend whatever you're talking about guys who's really into the game then yeah. you'll need something like a crack in or something like Cracking. that to where you can have a home have a home base to where for, those for guys five guys <laughs> i i'm just looking at, i'm well five guys that's, that's a skeleton crew <laughs> well in pyro like you said there's not going to be hardly any space stations that you can dock right. to to uh re you know to fix your ship to right. resupply and things like that so you pretty much gonna have to bring your own space station out there right 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 Invade, what would you have any thoughts on that? Oh, I didn't hear the question. I was trying to get my mic to work. Can you turn okay. it up a little bit, brother? Yeah, let me let me see if I can bump you up as well. Yeah, you're already all the way up. Okay. All right. Just let me know when you're ready. All right. So so okay. So now this is this is gonna be interesting, right? So so on a on a low budget, on a low budget, I'll give you my thoughts. Combat base, right? Combat crew. 
come back. Let me see. Let me see what we have. You ready? Invade? Yeah. How I sound now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound perfect. All right. So, so the question is, a group of three to five players, right? In a 4.0 build, how can, what, what fleet do they need to actually function or survive in a 4.0 race? Multiple ships or just one home ship? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What do you think? Well, what would you recommend, let's say, to a group of new uh, players that have, or at least a new player that has five friends or four friends? That's a hard question. <laughs> so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that they start with like you know a flagship one of the right. big capital ships because you'll need too many hands on deck um right actually probably uh, so i guess the crack is probably, out yeah that's definitely out <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of newbies i mean they're gonna need fuel um support mm -hmm. that's a fuel hard support. question if they're going to pilot yeah. if they're staying in stanton which is where they should stay to begin yeah with, Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, they could start in, you know, a Cuddy or a Connie. Cuddy or a Connie. Okay, so yeah. our side. So Where's our up. side? Okay. So a constellation, right? And our side constellation. Now, let me select the Andromeda. So you you got a constellation. So now, um, so now you have a multi-purpose ship for, for them. So how will they manage um refueling repairing and um and, and those things those, those survival elements that will be in a four point over hard questions so i'm not <laughs> even sure i figured it <laughs> yeah but i mean yeah you take all of that into account i mean mm. i would start with one of the the multi-crew starter ships and i wouldn't stray mm. too far away from my home station that'll take right. care of your refueling and your repairs and you know your sustenance right right as well as your medical you know that'll take care of everything you need as far as starting right, right. so you you know you and your crew get a little bit more under your belt and you want to start taking on something a little mm -hmm. bit more hefty mm -hmm. like a, you know by the time they rework like the um the 600i or the carrick or something like that but mm -hmm. you know what do you do about fuel? As soon as you go through a jump gate, you're in trouble. You have to rely <laughs> on another org or you know another yeah. crew of beings that you don't know if they're hostile or not. So right. I pretty much would get my feet wet with the five guys that I started with and like a multi crew, like just role playing and learning the ropes of the game, and then I would right. probably kind of join forces with another org with more experience. Right and crew their ships or help them crew their bigger capital ships just to see what you know pyro was like and get some experience right as far as logistically what you actually need because when you first come in the game you depending on where you had your experience with like space sims you won't mm. even know what it takes to survive in star citizen that is true that you might is get true. out there and be i've known some some new guys they just come in and they just want to dog fight so right. they just buy like a, a light fighter, jump in the verse and be like, yo, I'm the man. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. You okay. don't last too long out there. Okay. Okay. So based on what you're seeing, right? So a constellation, I think, is a solid choice for a small group with at least a fighter. They also have a Merlin there to help with fighting. Um... So then I think a Connie and maybe two fighters is, is, actually, is actually viable. So this is this, this is gonna be a crew. All right, so let me, let me have this rendered in here. So this is gonna be a crew that's gonna need to be around a, a station or next to a larger org that can help them with repair and refueling, you know, help them yeah. with food and, and these things. Okay, 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 okay. This is this is solid. This is solid. This is a solid option, you know, because at least two or three guys will run the Connie, and then the rest of the guys will run the fighters to help defend the Connie. And um and then if they want to get into any careers, then then it can decide to add whether it's gonna be a prospector or whether it's gonna be 
you know, a, a adventure or a vulture. I keep mixing it up between the adventure and the vulture. But uh, okay, so this is a nice fleet. This is a nice fleet. All right, for staying, uh, staying in Stanton, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> for staying in Stanton, that's a caveat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, but you're, you're not. Saying, but you told me Pyro, so that's why I was trying to figure out they got to yeah. bring a station with them. Because yeah. Pyro, you, you're going to be on your own. If they go yeah. to Pyro, I would take the um, God, what's the name of that? The baby carrier, Liberator. Yeah, I think Liberator. doesn't that do repair? The like I'm not sure. Refueling. How many ships can a Liberator hold going into into Pyro? Two medium size on top, and two mm -hmm. vehicles inside as well. And you talked mm -hmm. about starting with five man starter. I mean, I think you could do repair. You could repair on that little carrier. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know about so the fueling. A Liberator <laughs> is actually a, a solid choice. Hold on. I don't know what you're gonna do for refueling. <laughs> carry some fighters and you know it's multi-crew liberator is actually a solid choice so a liberator so you get maybe some fighters i'll, I'll put an avenger in here i'll put um it's just let's see, a hornet and then um then maybe something for mining prospector it's hard when you throw pyro into the mix because yeah <laughs> we, we have yet to be out there ourselves so yeah you know, you know, yeah that's true what's gonna happen out there mm, okay okay what do you think in a boxing <laughs> uh, it's gonna be tricky man i mean we like you said we don't know what to expect out there we're trying to figure out what to bring with us mm. honestly for us to go to Pyro, I kind of agree with Whole Armor said a while ago. He said he's going to wait some months because it's just going to be cha real chaotic out there. Yeah. Right. When they imp implement Pyro, hopefully I have my um, Perseus, you, and I think it was two or three other people in the org that's going to have the uh, Polaris. Mm -hmm. So then we can make a venture out there because now we have three ships that has hangers, depending on if we put... Right arrows in there we probably can get two per ship so we right. got six six fighters you mm -hmm. know coming with us and so and, and then with those those ships fueling won't be too much of a bad issue for us yeah. but if we're flying mm -hmm. small stuff like constellations and cutties we're going to have few issues left and right at least with yeah. those ships we're okay and then those kind of like almost somewhat of a mobile base because if you have two arrows per polaris you mm -hmm. can land those and refill those even if it's at one at a time yeah and you can do your repairs and then the ship has enough fuel that we can stay out there a long time so yeah. that would be the way to go but you're talking about people spending money now yeah, yeah. <laughs> the question was what would we take out there i'm probably gonna put all my eggs in the odyssey the odyssey Okay, so what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. So right now we're just talking a small group, three to five friends right now. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we're gonna get to the, the small orgs and we're gonna get to the large orgs. I forgot about the three or five uh, friends, my bad. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, I think you guys are right. You're gonna need a big ship, a main ship, like a Connie. A Liberator is, is probably gonna be a little bit expensive, but if you guys can afford it, it's solid. Then you can fit a prospect around it. Then you can fit a, a hornet or an arrow or, or two fighters and a prospector mm -hmm. and then some land vehicles. There's you know, no medical, no medical. Can no like medical. Yes, no medical. But here's a caveat, right? Because you're because of the small size, they're going to need to rely on other organizations or other players. Oh. And be yeah, in contact. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. Player. You what say that they don't want by themselves. Yeah, All right. <laughs> if it's take your money back. going out there by themselves, and that's what they're bringing, they might as well, mm -hmm. like it's like Inve said, they might as well stay in static because right. you're going out there. By the time you get out there and you make it to one of the planets, you're running out of fuel. You don't have nobody. Right. To, you don't have the ships to refill you. I mean, you don't. There's nobody to help you. Just your five guys and. Y'all don't have the the type of ships to take on a mission like that, right. you know. So I would just stay in Staten and do the missions in Staten. Right. 
and make a lot of friends with other orgs. Make a lot of friends, exactly. Really? It's going to be important. It's going to be important because, like, Star Citizen is going to be dominated by big, or bigger orgs. You got to be within an org. You got to at least have some affiliation with uh, a decent amount of players, you know, to be able to accomplish anything significant. So it's definitely important. I think once Pyro comes into the fold, mm -hmm. it's going to be a buyer's and a seller's market. The orgs are right. going to be hungry for new recruits too. Right. So <laughs> That's maybe true. those five guys will get scooped up fairly quickly. That's true. That's true. It would be in their best interest to get scooped up real quick if they plan on going to Pyro and Nix and stuff like that. Yeah. Because what they're bringing, what they said that they're going to be bringing, is not going to be enough to complete any missions out there. Right, right.